Minecraft Snapshots 24W05A and 24W05B bring the new experimental vault block with some interesting functionality for map makers and pack makers as well as plenty of other technical changes. My name is Sliced Lime and I'm here to dig into all of those. The data pack version is now 30. Let's start with data format changes where armor on non-humanoid entities has changed. Horse, llama and wolf armor items are now stored as a body armor item, which works like the hand items and armor items fields, and also comes with a body armor drop chance. All entities which have hand items and armor items fields now also have the new body armor item and body armor drop chance fields. This also means that the horse.armor slot argument to commence referencing item slots no longer exists, and instead armor.body can be used. Default values of potion effect data no longer get stored, which means the amplifier or duration being zero, the ambient flag being false, or the show particles flag being true now means that value will be missing from the effect data. In Snapshot 24W05B, another change was introduced which restricts all potion amplifiers to the range 0 to 127. This removes the ability to access all of the unsupported negative amplifiers. And the new vault block has some new data fields. Config is a set of data about its drops, with loot table specifying the loot table which gets rolled when the vault is unlocked. The activation range and deactivation range fields specify how close players need to get for the block to activate. Key item specifies the item stack needed to unlock the vault, where both count and NBT has to match. And override loot table to display is an optional second loot table. This is used to roll the complete set of items to display inside the vault instead of showing random samples of the unlock loot table. Those are all the fields of the config data, but the vault also has more data in a shared data field, which contains a connected particles range field, which determines how far away players need to be before the particles start showing. Display item stores the item currently being displayed by the block. The UUIDs of all players who have opened the vault are stored in the rewarded players list, and the UUIDs of all players who have not opened the vault but are in range of it are stored in connected players. In particle news, there's a new vault connection particle type. In tag news, there's a new item tag for diable items, which by default contains all the leather armor items, including leather horse armor. The resource pack version has also updated and is now 25, bringing in some shader changes. Light direction uniforms are no longer pre-multiplied by the view matrix. The iView rot map uniform has been removed. The attributes array in core shader definitions was unused and has been removed, and the unused position color normal and the position text light map color shaders have been removed. The position text color normal shader, which was only used by clouds, has been replaced by render type clouds. And the fog distance function no longer takes the model view matrix as a parameter. And finally, in server news, the option for region file compression now accepts none as a value, causing chunks to be stored without compression, which can be useful on systems where file system compression is used. The region file format now also reserves compression ID 127 as a marker for third-party region file compression implementations. When using that ID, it must be followed by a namespaced string identifying the custom algorithm. And when opening the F3 debug graphs for performance, operators on a multiplayer server can now see the server TPS graph, which was previously only available in single player worlds. And that's all for Snapshots 24W05A and the 24W05B. My name is Slice Slime, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.